What's up, devs? I'm so happy to see all of you again today. Thank you so much for coming back and thank you so much for your support. In today's video, we're gonna talk about Gemini CLI and best practices, and I'll share with you my top tips and tricks. If you are not familiar with Gemini CLI, don't worry. It is an AI system that brings power of Gemini into terminal. I have separate video about it, so please watch it before you watch in this video. Open the project folder before launching Gemini. It's actually a very important step because it will help Gemini to get accurate snapshot of your project. Load appropriate Gemini.md file and of course avoiding scanning unrelated directories. That could risk to the privacy. So go inside your project and then write Gemini command. The number two in my list, be specific. As you could see, even inside Gemini CLI, they highlight to be specific for the best results. And I'm actually agree with it. In order to get the best out of Gemini, you have to be specific. Otherwise, you could end up with the situation when your assistant adds not right functionality or add functionality not in the right place. For example, instead of just write help me fix UI, you can write something more specific example, you can ask assistant help me fix the bottom part of the UI that related to the form submission. And then you can even specify the problem. For example, the background image doesn't work. If you know the name of the file, you even can target the specific file and it will help you save some tokens. If you're using free version of Gemini, then you don't have to worry about tokens. But if you worry about tokens, you can ask AI generate the plan before it's starting to change the files. This approach not only help you save the tokens, but also give you understanding what actually Gemini will going to change. And if you will notice that in the plan something is wrong, you always can ask AI to adjust the plan. And this approach can help you save a lot of time. As you could see from my previous prompt, I asked Gemini to create for me a plan. And then all you need to do review the plan and if you are happy ask Gemini to apply the change. The next one in my list provide the precise context by using Gemini.md file. Once you launch Gemini inside your project folder use backslash init command and Gemini will create for you Gemini.md file. This file gives to Gemini CLI background knowledge about your project. This file could include uh, guidelines, coding standards, architecture nodes, specific instructions to run unit tests or install certain libraries. So all of this Gemini will use at the first launch. In order to see what currently inside the context, use command slash memory show. And if the instruction is exist, you will see it on the screen. You always can modify this file, but keep in mind after you change the file, you need to make sure that Gemini aware of the new context. You can reload Gemini or you can use slash memory refresh command. And if everything is okay, you will see this success message. And once you type memory show command, you will see the new context. You also can add something specific to memory by using memory add command. For instance, if you want to specify a specific port to database or specific URL to API, you can use this slash memory add and this node will be append to your Gemini MD file. You also can modify Gemini.md file, but with this approach it's slightly faster and it's also update the memory. So you don't have to use refresh command. Another useful tip, shell mode for quick commands if you want to use shell commands inside gemini simply press attention mark then you will be able to use shell commands inside gemini cli cool stuff is that shell mode execute commands locally and feeds the output back to the conversational context the next tip is search the web it is a built-in tool that allows you to fetch the information from the web or any specific urls in order to use it write add search and then write your query However, latest version of Gemini is really smart. You can just say search the web and it will does everything for you automatically. My next favorite tip is custom slash commands. Suppose you regularly need a planning template inside the Gemini folder, create a commands folder. Then inside the folder, create QML file, add the description and your prompt. The description will be displayed inside Gemini and the prompt with the argument will be passed to Gemini CLI. Then save the file and start Gemini CLI. Once Gemini will be launched, you can use your custom flash command. The name of the command equals to name of the file. So I'm write slash plan and then in the quotation add your arguments. 
in this instance it could be some prompt for instance add a, a scoring system to my to-do application and as a result i should see the plan that gemini will use in order to implement this functionality to my application so let's wait a little bit and let's see for the result and as you could see this is my plan so if you have similar tasks quite often you can create this kind of custom slash command it could be useful for git commits and other repetitive tasks some of you might think that it's actually just easier to type everything probably it is for small and simple instruction but if you have something complex with the extra context and some inputs it's much easier to create these kind of files and create custom commands. If you have no idea how to use it, try to create a custom command for GitHub commit. And I'll promise you after that you will love it. Another handy command that you will love it, non-interactive mode. So basically by using Gemini-P command, you can pass a prompt and get a single response. For instance, if you want to know on some specific question and you don't want to leave your terminal window you can use this command for example i'll ask gemini to summarize the main points of gemini.md file in my project and by running this command i will get a single response without actually launching full gemini cli this kind of command could be useful when you want to know uh, some details about your project or about specific file or even if you want to ask ai about anything as you can see, this is the summary of my Gemini MD, and this summary is correct. Okay, number ninth in my list, enable checkpoints. Checkpoint provides you an undo mechanism by saving snapshots of your files before each changes. So you can think of it as a save button or as a GitHub commit if you are familiar with GitHub. So inside your folder, open folder.gemini and create settings.json file if you don't have one yet but if you have simply add this instruction checkpointing and then enabled true after that launch gemini so once gemini will be launched it will have checkpointing function on it means all the changes that you are going to do with AI Assistant will be saved. It means you will always have the chance to restore the previous state of your files. So let's try. I'm going to do some changes. I will ask AI Assistant add something. Okay, let's ask AI Assistant add a new readme file to the project. Okay, let's check if file is created. As you can see in my terminal, this is readme2.md file. It's created in the project. Okay, the file is there. Now we can use restore command. Simply write slash restore. And as you could see, this is my snapshot. Currently I have one available snapshot. And if I want to roll back to this, I'm going to use slash restore and the name of this file. And it will take me back to the previous state. This could be quite useful if you're in multiple iteration, your project is broken, you always can roll back to the working version. And that's probably it. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe. And if you want to share your tips with me, please share them in the comments below. And I hope to see you in my next videos. Bye.